Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Shadow Elite, your JRPG enthusiast back with you guys again for another video, first impressions video of Demon Gaze. Since I recently completed Conception 2, I gotta give you guys my thoughts on Demon Gaze now that I'm fully playing it. Um, I will be dropping a review for Conception 2 sometime down the line very soon, so uh, be prepared for that. So, uh, now, uh, Demon Gaze, this game is kind of, uh, it's kind of hard. I'm not even going to try a lot of you guys. It's, it's kind of hard. And, um, I knew that going in, and I don't really play games that are overly difficult because, to be honest, my mindset, ain't nobody got time for that. That's why I don't play Dark Souls or Demon Souls or any kind of Souls. But, uh, yeah, anyway, um, but, uh, yeah, the things I'm liking about this game so far is definitely its artwork. It has a lot of beautiful art. And uh, a lot of varied enemy designs I'm seeing. Uh, I like the demons the, that you have to face. Like there's like four demons, you know, wind, um, fire, water, etc. And the demons themselves, they look really awesome. There's a lot of um, character customization here. And you can change the way your main character looks, you the protagonist. You can change the way he looks at any point in time. You can make him into a girl. You can change the voice. You can even change the name. But they will be regarded in the story as a as a male so you know kind of defeats the purpose I guess but uh, that's not really a big deal you could also change your party members look and um, look and voice and name at any point too which is pretty awesome I gotta say I had one character portrait for a female and I decided I didn't like that female portrait so I just wiped it out for another one and that works and there are a lot of um portraits that you can use there are like 50 portraits with some um, Disgaea character DLC there, free DLC there. Now the battle system is kind of straightforward and simple, nothing too overly complex here. Just got to go in knowing what your party members can do, uh, figure out what skills are best to be used. You know, it's just, it's nothing overly complicated. Just easy um, attack, defend, use the item, etc. If you got special skills, use those as well. Um, the game, like I said before, is kind of hard. Um, monsters be calling for more monsters. They be calling for backup. And then this could potentially lead to a never-ending loop of just monsters being summoned. And you can't do anything about it. Luckily, I got a, I got a um, special ability called Slash that lets you target all monsters in one row. So you can take out an entire row of enemies. Without going at it one by one by one, if you do it, if you had to do it one by one by one, and you never get anything done, you know, monsters just be calling for backup all the time. Um, you know, the game has very little money. Like when you win a battle, you get like 20 um gold pieces, and which is nothing compared to the um equipment that costs. Uh, that's pretty expensive. So what I have been doing is pretty much just using these things called circles and placing gems on it. The gems you place on it has like, uh, you have like a armor gem, a sword gem, a, a bow and arrow gem, and you put those gems on a circle and you face the enemies that come out those circles and you get equipment. What I've been doing with that is just um, selling off useless equipment to get some easy money. And I see that was pretty much the easy um, early game strategy so far. So like I said, I'm very early into the game. I only got two demons, I think. I just started fighting this worm-like creature or something like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, so far, I'm liking Demon Gaze. Now the story, I can't really dive too deep with what I think about the story because I'm too early into the game to, to honestly form an opinion. But from what I can gather, the main protagonist is a Demon Gazer. He has the power to defeat demons and capture demons. And well, that's pretty much it. You're staying in an inn because they pretty much just found the main character inside a dungeon and with his power and blah 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 they want to protect him and probably and all that good stuff but the game has some funny moments and all the characters are pretty funny um there was this one point where the cat girl was in the um was in a girl's room and she was sniffing sniffing her panties <laughs> and it was kind of funny because one of the dialogue options at the time was to punch her in the face Oh, just a puncher, but I found I kind of found that pretty funny. Uh, but other than that, the game does have a lot of fan service. Um, it's a very fan service heavy game, I would say. Not as much as Conception 2, but uh, I think I think it's almost there. But uh, you know, fan service never hurt anybody, especially me. So that's pretty much it. That's my first impressions of Demon Gaze. If you guys are playing at the moment, 
Let me know what you guys think. If you guys can offer me any tips to get through the game, uh, let me know. Uh, that would be really great. That would really help me out a lot. And uh, that's pretty much it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, I will catch you guys later. Also, hit me up on Twitter for the for my thoughts on the latest JRPG news and uh, gaming updates as I'm playing. And uh, that's pretty much it. Bye.